Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. My name is Obinda Oko. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I, I want to share uh, with you um, something very much important, which can be uh, can be dicey, can be controversial, it can be sensitive. So she can leave her dreams. She can leave her dreams, her big dreams, as well. The daughter, the wife, the mother. We're talking about the woman. She can have her big dreams and leave them as well. If you look at uh, history if you look at situations now in the world if you study if you're sensitive you will see that women have had to deal with a lot of challenges all throughout history they have had to overcome a lot of wrong cultural biases all through history even those of us who were born in the latter part of the 90s, we still were conditioned, boys, men, husbands were conditioned or were ill-equipped uh, to handle and to live with women and how they can live their lives according to their terms. They say that there are a lot of divorces. They say that men, you know, you, you see people marrying and there are a lot of difficulties. A lot of them are coming from some of these things that we grew up with. If you talk to a lot of women, if you talk to girls, if you talk to men, uh, if you talk to mothers, you will see. Go to the market and see how our men struggle. Go to everywhere that women are. You know, they go through a lot of things. We, I remember there was a time that you were in school and our, our tree madam in the secondary school, Boko High School, she, she happened to have asked us a question that how many of you are being taken care of by your mothers, even the school fees? And uh, I remember most of us raised our hands and uh, I dare say it was around 80% or so. A lot of factors may have contributed, but largely women have had to live with a lot of constraints. And so the little we can do as a, as a generation with a lot of access to information, a lot of access to knowledge, a little that we can do, even if you are not equipped, if you are not skilled to live with these women, is to just try to learn how to at least live with a woman, you know, and let them have their big dreams and live them as well. If most people say that women, well, you know, sometimes you see these funny, funny things on, on, in, on, on Facebook or, or some of the social media and they have a whole big uh, book trying to understand women and then they list very few things trying to understand uh, men. What you do, <laughs> I think what women really want in this life is just to have the freedom to live their dreams with very few hindrances. That's what women want. The sad thing about it is that those of the men that they live with were not trained to understand this. And so we, we, we grow with them, we deal with them, we live with them with a lot of constraints in culture, in religion, even in our institutions as well. If you go to institutions that are you know headed by women, how many institutions are headed by women and how much respect do we give them? If you're a young man and grew up in a culture where you saw your grandfather marry three, four, five, technically you've been conditioned not to so much give that much respect because you could see one man with three, four, five of them. You know, they can, people can come with all kinds of arguments, but did we allow the women also to marry four men at the same time? There's some kind of imbalance somewhere. People can put up with all kind of arguments. Yes, and that's why we have the challenges that we have. So I, I'm trying to talk about something that I'm not an expert, but uh, 
I think it's worth it. It's worth it because if you want to live your dreams, if you want to live your aspirations as a man, as a human being, it's a big challenge that you must understand, especially those of us are coming from culture where there's some kind of imbalance as to how we we deal with women and how we we take you know their input. So uh, let's see. And the thing is, they want to live their dreams. If you like it or you don't like it, when you're primary school, you were with, you were there with them. They beat you. In secondary school, same in the university, they were beating you. They may want to be wives. They may they may want to be mothers, but a lot of them are also trained. And they may want to live life beyond just being a mother, just being a father. The thing is that if you're a man and you were not trained, you're coming from a culture that you were not trained. You, no matter the kind of education that you have, you may have education in whatever course that you may have, but they didn't train you how to live with a lot of these women because the challenge is that she's not that woman that your grandfather lived with. The one that you have, if you happen to have one anyway, she's not that woman that your father lived with. It's a woman that <laughs> has been educated, educated, you know, and you still want to treat her like the one that you more treated years ago. And so you need to equip yourself to accept the fact that they have to have the same freedom. They are not asking for the freedom from you. They just want to live the life on their terms, even though, even if, you, if you're married, the, the fact that you are together does not mean that you own her or you control her. Like the way they have, you know, religiously, they have trained us. They raise the men above the women. And uh, I remember when we were children, my grandmother would be praying. And any time that they say they want to pray, she would look for some something and cover the hair. And I would ask her, why? Why do you want to cover your hair? She said, no, 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 I'm a woman. It's in the Bible that you have to cover your hair. You know, that, I don't know, but... If God is angry with a woman's hair, <laughs> why is he happy with a man's hair? I don't know. <laughs> so those are the things that I think, you know, restricted women in a way. Because then she cannot even, like if you go through town or churches, the way the, you know, the woman must not wear some skirt, she must cover. There's a lot of restrictions. Yet the man can be bare chested, move around everywhere. Even those of us, when we were growing up, you know, the, 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 our sisters would have to be in the kitchen to learn how to cook. And we were playing the football. I don't know. Maybe there are some advantages somewhere. But so far, the results that we are getting, uh, they go a long way to show that there is a lot of amendments that we have to do. Because you are training these women to become lawyers, doctors, engineers, and you still want them to be in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. And this man who is going to marry one woman, you never train that man to be in the kitchen at all. So he marries the woman in the future and it's so difficult for him to be in the kitchen. So the woman has her dreams to live. She wants to have control over her finances. She wants to live her dreams and aspirations. She wants to build her career, her profession, her business. You know, the best form of freedom that I think women must have is economic freedom. And the freedom to say what is on their mind, the freedom to live their lives. And most of these men that they have rushed to marry or rushed to be in relationship with don't understand that. Some people even marry women and uh, <laughs> they want to control everything. They want to control their time. They want to control their money. They want to control some. I've seen people who, you know, both of them have first degrees and the man will go on to acquire a PhD. And the woman will still be with the first degree. It's amazing and the woman will be giving birth that's all and so most women you know she maybe she's happy with that maybe they are happy with that but if they're ambitious they will not be happy with that they just want calmness in at home so you know they they they, they will deal with their own issues anyway anyhow but as a man i think that you must have the same kind of heart that you have to succeed in your business, in your finances, in your career, just as the woman who is in your life. Just as the woman. Because especially if you come together, then you have come together to win together. Not to, not for her to live in your shadows or in your image, in your dreams. She's come to live your dream. She's come to build your house. She's come to build your business. And so when, in the future, if it doesn't work, what does it go with? 
I think it's supposed to be fair. And the men don't have that. They don't have the skill. They don't have the training. They don't have the disposition. They don't have the mindset to live in these times. So it's tough. It's difficult, but I can tell you that she, the daughter, the wife, the mother, is fully qualified to live her dreams. It's a full human being. They encounter a lot of challenges. They have to handle the home. They have to handle their career. And sometimes, if you look at the economics now, I think most women are even the ones providing the cash anyway. <laughs> so I don't know what we, the men, we are doing. Stuff. So the least we can do is probably re-engineer our thoughts to give full support to the woman in your life. If your sister is there, just as you are encouraging your brother to go to school, to dare, to become anything, the woman must not be conditioned just to go and marry. Encourage your brother, uh, encourage your sister to also go after her dreams, whatever that she wants to become. She cannot just be trained. Sometimes you interview some of these girls and they leave looking up to some big man somewhere with money to come and take care of them. I think that is dangerous for a young lady to leave waiting for a man with money to come and take care of her. That means that we are failed. It's a failure for a young woman to leave. And all that she thinks about is that I will get a good husband with money to come and marry me. It's not a property. It's a full human being with will, with freedom, with destiny to live. The thing about the culture is that, you know, as human beings as we are, we train out of the culture. We live out of the culture. So what they see around is what they copy. And that's why you can see. Sometimes if you look at very powerful women, most of them, if you look, most of them are single. It's not because they are arrogant. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so it's not because they are they don't want to to live with a woman who has an aspiration to live with a woman who has a dream to live with a woman who wants to achieve something to live with a woman who wants to be great so by the time the woman you know most women it's tough for them to have a man who is stable confident you know courageous enough to embrace the success and the greatness of a woman. Most men, you know, have that. So our culture and upbringing made it difficult for most men to see women as equal partners in marriage. Yes, it's true. And even in mother or in your, in your sister, in your daughter, it is tough. So we, we, we have brought them up and we have tried to, you know, talk out the dream. We have, we have, we have taken the drive for them to achieve. <laughs> we have taken the drive. Talk to your average girl somewhere. They just want to become the average. Very few would want to dare because they are not sure. If they are with a guy, they will not encourage her to go to school. They will not encourage her to build a dream, a business, a career. And, uh, you know, if, if they dare to be that aggressive in trying to become something, they call them names. We give them all kinds of names. If you go to any meeting and you see a woman trying to push her ideas and thoughts, the first thing is that, hey, this woman. But if a man is doing the same thing, nobody questions anything. I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's, it's, it's natural. I think it's cultural. You know, I don't think it's the way it's supposed to be. And so if you, you, and the fact is that if you, even if you as a man, if you really want to go after your dreams and have peace at home, you would not want to be with a woman who would just want to, Say yes to every every stupid thing that you say. She would have to have a conf the confidence to challenge some of the thoughts, some of your craziness, some of the things that you do that are not right. And yet most men don't have the confidence. <laughs> Especially <laughs> the typical, you know, village man like myself. It's difficult for us to embrace the intelligence, the strength, the boldness of a woman. Yet, if you have a woman like that, you, you will achieve more with your life. You'll be able to build the home or the career faster than the one that you're looking to control. So I think that a woman must live and must be left to live her dreams. You know, even in, in the marriage, even in the family, 
she must be encouraged she must be some of them must be supported some of them must be given full support whatever that you are achieving as a man if you you must see the same thing in the woman and it's not like you just have to there are a lot of us who just give a lot of impediment we don't give any support to them and if they dare to you know go after their dreams we leave them we say that they are they are cocky they are chewa we call them names yet they are full human beings would strive to succeed yes they may like the marriage they may like the children and the unfortunate thing is that we describe them by the marriage we also describe them by the children hardly would you will meet a woman from our culture who would want to say that let's say i want to live my life and if i marry good if i don't marry it's okay it's not acceptable we will not allow, allow them to even think like that and then we push a lot of them they go and pick another man who is not prepared for that kind of stature. And then the next minute you see that the woman's spirit is gone, or the marriage is split, you know, and we cause damage. Or because the men may not have been brought up to handle strong, strong, strong women. So women should live their dreams. And I think that if a woman and you are that driven, you are that ambitious, you should also consider the kind that you're looking for the one that you're dating you should look for does he have the heart does he have the confidence the setup the courage to embrace a woman who is that ambitious and self-driven because a lot of them are not that self-driven you know a lot of the men are not self-driven so if the woman is that self-driven it takes a lot of stress it takes a lot of toll on such men who are themselves not self-driven. So my name is Robin Alcorn. I'm talking about she wants to live her dreams. The woman would want to live her dream, the daughter. And it's okay. The woman to dream to become whatever that she wants to become. A lawyer, a businesswoman, a doctor, a president, a surgeon. Uh, whatever that they want to become. We should not relegate them to just being prepared to take home and, and marry. Sometimes I go for some weddings and I look at... What's happening? I see that this one will be trouble. Why? Because she's been conditioned to just be, just be a home maker. And that's all. And some girls have been conditioned to even appreciate that because of the teachings. Some of the religious teachings have really done a lot of damage. So she's so much comfortable to be Mrs. And that's all that she wants to do. I don't think to, I think you should encourage your, your, your daughter to dream, to dream big, especially when you look at the kind of poverty level that we have, the kind of, you know, the country that we have to build, the companies that you have to build, the families that you have to build, the prosperity that you have to create. You cannot send them to school and bring them to just be a cook in the kitchen. And if they, they want to start, start anything or dare to do anything, we just stop them down or we leave them alone. Some of the big men that you see, a lot of the big men look around, oh, very few of them have the wives, the same kind of stature, very few. <laughs> look around. A lot of the women with their stature are single. Look around and see. When they finish the invest, they went to the village to take the one who could not read, who could not write. We have to let the woman know. We have to let them know that, yes, we are comfortable with them becoming great. And with them becoming whatever they want to become. We should encourage them to have their aspirations. I don't want to see my daughter after all the years that you send them to school. They go and marry somebody and they, they sit on them every time. No. Then why did we have to send them to school? Why did we have to encourage them to be the best, you know, to become anything that they wanted to become? So the boys that they are going to grow up with must accept that these, you know, the women are equally qualified. And they are full human beings with their aspirations as well, with their dreams, with destiny to live. And they want total freedom. They don't want you to control their finances like that. And a, and a woman should not live thinking that a man is the way to make money. And we can do that by changing the prospects of our family, of our country, of our companies. You know, not to just train them to look up to old men to take care of them. We have to give them proper, proper sound education. 
you have to create your own opportunities and freedom to be great freedom to have their own finances a lot of the men just use the money to control the women you know <laughs> so that's some of the things that i want to talk about and if you really want to enjoy life to the best and let's say if you're a man and you marry the quality of a the drive the psyche the mindset the wisdom that quality is directly responsible for the quality of home that you're able to build the thing is that they are smarter and they are more intelligent than <laughs> the guys anyway and if you have a very intelligent industrious resourceful woman there's a lot that can happen in the family that quickly there's a lot so you are really shooting yourself if you sit on a drive if you sit on a dream if you talk them out to dare to challenge the status quo to dream to do something i think some countries some countries have been able to do better than what we are doing where the women have been able you know over the years they've been you know women empowerment programs women empowerment uh, you know laws that they have done the legislature They've been able to empower the women to at least carry themselves and there are countries who have who have done you know a little bit better and there are countries that are locked in, in cultural complexities because they try you know to keep the women at the level of their grandfathers so don't in, don't impede the choices that they have to make themselves as women and if you have to give any support give them give them if you have a girlfriend give them the support if you have a wife give her the support to live her dreams ask her what she wants to do with her life if she wants to become the ceo of the company why not if she wants to run as an mp why not if she wants to build any enterprise why not why do they need your permission to do that? Why not? After all, you are not the one who gave birth to her. So why do you want to control her like that? You didn't create her. Most men, I think, whenever I see somebody beat the wife like that, you see it in the newspaper or, or you know, on, on the internet. Like, ah, you just went to marry her. You didn't make her. You didn't create her. If you don't like her, why do you beat her? Just let her go. It's, there's a level of madness if you want to control another woman's life just because you're in a relationship with her. So it means that your mind has trouble. There's trouble. And, you, and if you have if you are not able to develop yourself to a point where you'll be able to have intellectual discussion. With a woman and not being offended, <laughs> you have not grown as a man. <laughs> you have not grown as a man. If you cannot have proper intellectual discussion without being offended, and that is tough for a lot of us. And because of some of these cultural hindrances, a lot of the women have given themselves just to talk about things that are very much basic and trivial. You know, so most of them just master you know of marriage and relationship that's all they talk about very few women are able to talk about things that are more uh, developmental oriented or growth or more of a enterprising very few women are able to engage in topics beyond watching a movie to cry you know, there was a time that we were living somewhere and a friend of mine had friends, you know, some of these guys. And they came and the things that we were discussing, they were angry. So they didn't show up again. Why? Because we're not discussing you know, the things that they watch on TV where the women are crying every day. You know, they're telling always those things. 
it's a cultural thing you have designed them so that the woman will be, the women will be dropped to that level yet the number one concern of most women is financial freedom so i think that a, lot, a lot of the information that they may need will be the things that will help them to have control over their finances and their choices and their destiny yet the way the culture the way the media the way the society has programmed is not only africa everywhere the program so that the women are attracted to things that they will, they will just cry and yet the major things because when there's a split of say marriage the only concern that most women will have is how do they carry their lives beyond because most of them were conditioned to live on the terms of the man so let the woman live her dream her big dreams encourage her to be an impediment if anything at all if you are strong as a man you are strong so that you can handle the difficulties for her you are strong so that you can encourage your sister to become huge you can encourage your mother to become huge you can encourage your wife to become big you have to be a strong man emotionally to live with a very intelligent strong <laughs> ambitious woman you have to be a strong man you have to take care of your emotions and your brain must work you have to accept that she can choose by herself you have to accept that and she can create her own opportunities and she can create her own destiny you should be able to accept that. Can you marry a woman who is a billionaire? <laughs> and you are making thousand cities. <laughs> can you can you do that? There are boys, sometimes there are boys, you know, sometimes when you're talking to the boys, uh, the guy has a degree and he's looking for somebody who is less educated so that she can control her. Wow. It means you're not strong. It means you're not strong. If you are looking for somebody like that so that you can control it, it means that when you are together, you will never encourage her to become anything. You will never encourage her to even go to further her education. Because for you, you think that the moment she is at that level, it's convenient to control her. Now, that's a sign of weakness. That's a sign that you are not strong as a man. If you are strong as a man, you can, you, you know, the strength of your leadership. <laughs> Is the quality of people that you lead if you think that you're even a leader at all so if you think that you have to go low and marry somebody because you think that you can marry the other ones who have gone to school like you or you have to have a strategy to keep it at a very low level so that you become the god you're not strong you're weak and it means that even if the, the relationship is kept there will be pain in her heart and it also affects the growth and the quality of the relationship the best form every woman must live their own destiny must express their own freedom must have the power to choose their life and this you must know you cannot carry those things that they told you when you were children or bad or bad kind of things into building a strong family it can work <laughs> can't wait. so that's why most of the boys can't carry the heat because they're carrying their village and their old mindset you can be young and be very old in your thinking and there are a lot of people like that they're very young they are 20 30 but the ideologies that they carry very old they don't produce results and they have never challenged those thoughts and one of them is the thoughts that we all have about women how we have conditioned them to look up to men almost for everything and if she does if she, she refuses to look up to a man eh, we name them we call them all kind of names but they are full full human beings even in the so-called industrialized countries just about the other day they allow women to vote <laughs> human rights issues but if you want the best of life never try to control the woman in your life your support is different from control 
supporting is different and this is something that you have you have to learn every day especially if you look like me because very few people who look like me who are men grew up with that character very few people because we didn't hear that we didn't hear that we saw them go to farm they would come home and cook and the guy was playing dummy <laughs> that's what we saw so if you're helping her in the house you know at home you think that you are not sound i think that a lot of things especially those who want successful peaceful marriages uh, it can be done it can be done, but it can be done with a lot of skill, a lot of knowledge, a lot of understanding, especially of the woman. Of the woman. And so if it's not working, it means that the, the, the tape that you have is wrong. It means that you've been trying to control her. You don't want her to become any great at anything. You've been trying to control whatever she makes. You've been trying to control her destiny. And you've been trying not to let, let her, you know, or help her to live. The dream or if you have not even encouraged her to live her dreams most of these young girls that you move you see on the street most of them if you look at them you have to help them to see themselves beyond just just excuse me to say just sex object for the men you have to help them to live sometimes you have to encourage them don't be asking men for money if a young woman why do you ask men for money why she's not your husband maybe not even even if your boyfriend why be asking doesn't have to take care of you you are so full human being let him make his money you to also make your money most great men most men who are ambitious are looking for women who are also industrious so if you just sit at home and be calling him to be asking him for money he will treat you anyhow but you don't have to treat the woman like that. So you may have to encourage her to go and look for a place to work, at least to become responsible with their lives, and to become responsible. And if they have to, uh, you know, upgrade their knowledge, you help them. These are the things that you talk about, you know, because most of them are coming from home so that the fathers pay more attention to the young guys, you know, to the boys than to the daughters. Because most of them feel that somebody else will come and marry them anyway. <laughs> so, most of them don't show a lot of enthusiasm with how they educate their daughters. But you have to. And you have to encourage them to live beyond just being a missus. The wedding day is not your big day. If anybody told you that, it's a lie wedding day for a woman the way they have tried to condition them with tv and everything is a big day it's not a big day it's just one of those days the big day is when you discover your aspirations your dreams what you want to become the reason you live that is the big day as a human being because that is the area that has an ending joy of living life is a pain if you don't know why you live if you only came to give birth, you will live a miserable life. But if you know that you were made to make a contribution, then you know that beyond the children, beyond the marriage, there's life. And so you train with something. Maybe you're a nurse, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're a judge, maybe you're a lawyer. You see that you're making contribution. You know, then there's life. But if they just told you as a young girl that, you know, do yourself because the way they train them, Prepare them so that when you marry, your husband will be happy. That's a wrong training. <laughs> because you don't know what is training that money. You may never be able to make him happy anyway. You know, so that's something unachievable. But you may be able to live your dreams. You know, and live a, a, a fulfilling contribution. Like there are women now who are, you know, chief, uh, chief executives. There are women who are Supreme Court judges. There are women who own their companies. There are women who are presidents. Those are the things that we have to, you have to encourage a lot of the women to become. Those are the terms, those are the things that we have to encourage a lot of the women to become. And not to be telling them 
Don't wear mini scared. Don't do those things are not the things that are going to destroy them. If a girl has a dream, you will not you will not have to tell her to not to follow me. If a girl is ambitious, if she has sense of living, you will not tell her to go and sleep. You will not even tell her to go and read books. She will go. The only reason that she's following all those is because she has nothing to look up to. Been told, she's been told that all her life what she should look for is to go and marry. <laughs> so, you know, she's looking. She thinks that the end is to have a man. Not sure. It may be one of those things that they have to have, but not the main. Because then when there is a divorce, what happens? Do they have to leave again? So there's more to life than just training the girls to just go and marry and give birth to children. And if they don't find a man, then that is the end of everything that they have achieved. It is amazing. I don't think we should reduce human beings to that level. That is my thought anyway. So, <laughs> so encourage them to dream, to dream big, to see their aspirations. To take care of their own selves, their own finances, their own dreams, and be a supporting board uh, for them. You should be a man who is confident and comfortable and, and proud to be, you know, a factor why your sister, your daughter, your wife, your mother is making progress. Because there are a lot of hindrances that are, are placed before them. There are a lot of them. So the least that we can do is to, you know, reduce some of those for them and to encourage them to train, to train big, to train, to become great, not to make a man the, the end of their life, the target, and not to carry, you know, dress and do all those, like the women who are going to cut their bodies and do those to look nice, I don't know. So that they can get, they can make better choice and make better decision than just doing something to satisfy only men. There's nothing wrong if you want to look nice, but I think life is more than just making a girl think only about marriage and having children. There is more to life, so they have to we have to encourage. We have to support and we have to help them to live, to think big, to dream big. We should be the ones that they can follow. You know, if there is any support that you can give to any woman, your sister, your brother, your sister, your sister, your daughter, your wife, your mother, any support. You should not be the one sucking the dream and the drive from them. You should be able to live life and live it big and live it huge. And not be chasing some of these political and the so-called businessmen for money because they did not have their own dreams because they did not have their own strategy and that they should not just be feeding on some of these celebrating news and uh, some of this nonsense that they feed the women with that these women can pick up a finance book and read a product development book and read innovation book and read. These women can sit down and plan how to set their own businesses, how to build their own companies, how to build their own drinks. Those are the information that you have to help them to gather, not watching something in Shatawali and all those noises that they, mm. they bombard the women with. <laughs> you know, you have to help them to live and to dream and to think of things that uh, can make difference in our lives as a people. Not just be watching all those things that <laughs> they, they feed them with, you know. Most of the, if a young girl is following a lot of these so called things that they call celebrities, sometimes I uh, weep because the things that they talk about cannot bring any progress. Those are facts. And yet, when you talk to most of these girls, that's the only thing that they know. The only thing that they know. Somebody marry on TV, somebody did this. You should be able to encourage them to live more big and chase their dream. And you should not be the ones hindering them into their greatness. Want to see top business women? 
top surgeons, top lawyers, politicians, presidents, you know, women doing that. And they should not be apologetic. They should not. And, and they can do that and still have a man as their husband if they so wish. But the marriage should not come and stop them from dreaming and daring and becoming great. I think that is where the culture must come in to help. The culture must come in to lift this woman. We should not allow the culture to just put them down like that and give them a lot of pressure. Then I think the culture is must must improve. Must improve so that they can live life at least lightly and peacefully. You know, so I encourage your women to to dream big, to live their dreams. There's nothing wrong with it. You should not only be men, 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 men every time every time they are talking about men, every time they're talking about men and how to live big and how no, the woman, if a woman is in your life, a innermost yearning is for her to live her dreams. If you see women who are around 50 years or something who are fighting for divorce, most of them is because of what? It's because they they feel like they wasted their time and they didn't live as human beings. They feel like you 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 cheated them. They feel like they didn't identify their life. They feel like they did not really contribute to living. So when they get to 50s, they think that, okay, I've lived more life than, you know, than what is left for me. So why did I come here to live? If you, if you look at women who sometimes are married to top guys and who are calling for divorce, mainly it's because of that. They are, they are asking. And those are the things that they are asking themselves. That is what every woman is asking. Those who are daring, those who are ambitious, that's what they are asking. And so if you have one, if you have a sister, if you have a daughter, if you mother, that's why you can help them to live their dreams, to make a contribution. Not just be, not just carry babies. No, they want to they want to do something beyond childbearing, <laughs> beyond becoming just a mother at home, just like that. They want to do something. They want to start a foundation. They want to write a book. They want to join a political party. They want to maybe become preachers. If you look around 50. You see, most women are stuck in churches. If you don't know. It's because they are trying to find relevance. You know, and most of it, that is the only institution that is there for them to find the relevance. But most women are looking for that. Find out, I say. And so, if they are young and they are with you, or if you have a wife, the least you can do is, is contribute, to help her, to encourage her to become that powerful. And you should not be threatened when a woman is powerful. Never be threatened. Ever. If you're a good-hearted person, loving, you will not be a stumbling block. And if you're a good man, your value, they will know. They will know that if they leave you, they may not. You know, it's tough to find a good man. It's tough to find a good person. So if you're a good person and people are moving, don't worry about it. Just be good, kind, compassionate, you know, good will, very much interested in the well-being of people, very much interested in the well-being of your daughter or your wife or the woman that you deal with, very much interested in how they are faring, and how great that they are becoming. Very much important. Very much important. So she can live a dream, a big dream as well. She doesn't have to be a man to live her big dreams. She can be a daughter. She can be a wife. She can be a mother. Still live her dreams. Before they said that over to I took end up a then I don't know, maybe it's true. But how did she get the money to buy that one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but how did she get the money? If she was able to get the money to buy the gun, I bet you she can give her that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so look at that. Look at that and uh, be the best at that. It will help you. If you if you if if you one of the best secrets to, to having a peaceful home is to encourage that woman to wow. live her dreams, to build her career, to build her profession, to encourage her to become better every time. To, to you know to take care of the finances and to build her wealth. That's what you have to do. And then encourage and discuss and, you know, 
uh, challenge yourselves that way and never condition her to just be limited and live within your little uh, mindset because you think you married her. It's not good. Or because you think she's a woman. You can do more if you challenge your thoughts. And life is, I tell you, life will be more fun, more enjoyable if you can have that. You can have that. There's no way that you are going very far. And she is left behind. So the education, the freedom, the finances, and dreams encourage her. The prospects of our country, I tell you, will improve if you encourage the woman to dare. To dare. To dare. And dream big. To live there in their aspirations. And not to have a generation of young women whose only dream is to chase men so that they can have a house and a car. And uh, they can have a big, you know, those things, job position. She'd be a woman who is promoted because she's good. And she has confidence that she's good. She's not the one chasing the men to get there because that's what she believes in. It's not good. So she wants economic freedom. Don't forget that. And she wants the freedom to live her dreams, to live her life. And never become an impediment to that. Never. You just happen to have her as a daughter or as a wife. But she is a full human being responsible for her destiny. You know, after all, you are not born together. And it's likely you not die together. So let her live her dreams and let her live her destiny. And be the best of man because that's the essence of a man. She's a protector. It's a stabilizer, it's a foundation for good things. It's a foundation for good things. And so let that woman live a dream. And be, a, be the one who is always happy to see. She should be sure 100% that when there is a good news, when there is a progress, she can tell you. And she will not doubt. How, how joyous or how happy you will become because of a progress. <laughs> there are people that when you make any progress, you are, you are doubtful. If you tell them, they'll be happy. The woman in your life should not feel like that. Should not feel limited. Should not feel like, will she be happy? Will she? should be encouraging her. They deal with a lot of difficulties every day, every time. Think about a lot of things. But she still can live her dreams. Big one. Not just go and become anything. Big one. The big dreams that they have. Encourage them to live them. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Thank you.